say, um, tell them. Oh, welcome back to Baron's life, everybody. Hey. We I'm took over Freddy. the vlog. We just did. And hey. then tell them about Scott. Hey, mommy. Say hi, hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. No. She got wow. her hair done today. Yeah, don't do that. So beautiful. Greg. <laughs> I shaved. Oh, he did. And he's yeah. wearing his blue sunglasses today. Yeah. No, I like your gold ones better. So what do you think, Brie? Gold, like gold. gold ones or blue ones? Gold. Gold. Okay. Well. Oh, welcome, everybody, to this edition of Baron's Life. This is a scalloping edition, but before we go scalloping, we're going to see the Meg. The night the night before scalloping, kind of dumb, it's probably not a good idea. So we're gonna go see the Meg. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to Gulf County in Port St. Joe, and we're going scalloping, because it opened on Friday. Tomorrow's our first chance, so. You ready? Yeah. Yo, let's go! Movie time! So we're out of Pier Park, Panama City, Beach. The Meg. Opening wide. The Meg. You and ready? That gun and that shark is me to meet those beautiful girls. <laughs> anyway, should be a fun movie. The Grand Theater, if you've ever come to Panama City Beach, make sure you come by Pier Park. It's pretty neat. Cool place to come walk around and we're getting a skywheel. I don't think it's open yet, but uh, Dave and Buster's and all types of places to shop. Now the nicest theater by far in Panama City is out here at the Grand at Pier Park. Um, it's very nice, it's been open now for probably, <clears throat> I don't know, I'd say six or seven years, but um, it has some pretty neat things and a lot of people come here, a lot of tourists, but this is where we go even though we live in Panama City to go to the movies. So anyway, let's go see the Meg. Okay, got our popcorn, got our snacks. Meg at seven, are you excited? Are you scared? Are you scared, Brady? A little bit. A little bit? Okay, this should be fun. All right, let's go to watch the movie. We're gonna let you know how it goes. Okay, all right everybody, so Megalodon is a wrap. I loved it. Brady, you loved it. Allie, what'd you think? It was good. We're gonna have to get some sleep because Daddy talked about going like. Yeah, we're gonna go scalloping, so we got to go home and get some rest. Um, but we have so to get all the scalloping. Let's talk here. about the movie for just a second for anybody that's interested in going to see Meg. What did you think, mommy? <laughs> I loved it. You didn't like it? it was so corny. Yeah, it was a little corny. It was, it was very Sharknado-ish. <laughs> so, but, I mean, it was good. It was entertaining, which I is what... It. I know Brady, I mean, so if you're looking for the seven-year-old crowd, you wowed them. So, I think that was good. And All right, also, let's, let's go home and get ready to go to Scott. And also... Uh, happy Sunday morning, everybody. Just uh, got up. It's pretty early Sunday morning. And um, I've come out just to start getting... The boat together. We are going scalloping today. We're gonna to take you along with us and do a scalloping vlog. Went and saw the movie last night, the Meg, good times. And so today we're going scalloping. So we're gonna to go to Gulf County, which is Port St. Joe. We gotta stop at Blue Water Outriggers. That'll be the next place we go. And um, we're gonna get uh, Kayla a new mask. And then we're gonna take off. We'll be scalloping anywhere from three to five feet of water. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good footage. And I know we've had a lot of rain, so hopefully the, the water won't be too dirty and it should be great. So come along with us, it'll be a fun day. Yeah, if you're ever in Gulf County, Port St. Joe, or on Cape Sandblast, definitely make a stop by Blue Water Outriggers. Very cool store. Okay, so we were successful at Blue Water Outriggers, got a uh, new mask and snorkel for mommy. And we're stopping right now to get some cash. We're launching at Presnell's Marina, it's down on St. Joe Bay. And remember, if you launch at Presnell's, they do have a fee. And so we're just making sure we have plenty of cash so that when you launch, you can pay them. Uh, <clears throat> so anytime you go to Presnell's, make sure 
you have cash money in hand. Uh, now I am. All right. So we have launched at Presnell's. We're just idling out. The water is very dirty. Had a lot of rain, but uh, we're off. We're gonna go over on the, I guess it'll be the north side of the bay and look around, see what we can find. It's a little windy. You may be catching the wind there, but we've had to dodge thunderstorms and we got a way later start than we had planned. Let's we'll the GoPro down. Let's go find some scallops. Do some scallops. Okay, so we have gone and picked up our scallops. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to shuck a scallop. All right, so you got a white side or a light side and a dark side. You want the dark side up. All right, so I'm right-handed. I'm gonna hold my left hand and there's a little slot right here. So I'm just gonna take my knife. Now these are homemade, okay? Thin blade, super flexible. We're gonna go right in here. We're gonna go straight up like that. And just straight through. And you'll notice where we have cut that loose, okay? Now, we're just gonna loop around the edge, knock all the guts loose, and what should happen is in one fail swoop, we get it all, all right? Okay, so there you go, and there's your meat. Let's do one more, okay? So here's our scallop, okay? If you take them out, and let them open up. Sometimes it's a little easier, but anyway, you're gonna go straight in, right up against the top, open it up, okay? And again, we're just gonna loop around the eyes. And we're gonna go to the back side, and we'll get it to where we can pretty much get everything in one, that's what you don't want, that's the yuck. All right, and then the only thing that's left is just your pretty muscle. That's all there is to it. That's how you shuck a scallop. All right, so that is a one person limit of scallops, okay? We, this is a pint, all right? This is exactly a one person limit. So we're gonna top that off, get in the cooler, and keep on shucking. There you go, that's a solid thing of scallop meat. Well, we have made it home from scalloping, and now the fun part, boat cleanup. Oh, look at this. So let's get started.
Okay, so we have made it home. It is Monday. Yesterday went scalloping and got home, got everything cleaned up, got everything put up. Saw me put the boat away and um, obviously very tired last night. So we didn't even try and cook scallops last night, but we're gonna cook them real quick and show you how to do it. Uh, it's very simple. We're gonna fry these. You can broil them, you can bake them. Uh, you can do them in a pasta. It's really however you like them, but these we're gonna cook, like I guess would be the traditional way, the fried scallop. Now tonight we're gonna have fried scallops, cheese grits. I've got this coming to temperature. I'm gonna try and get it to focus. Right now we're about 225 degrees. You wanna be between three and 350 before you start frying your scallops, all right? Scallops are prepared. I got them salt and peppered here and then ready to put them in the batter and we are pretty much ready to go. Okay, so we are at temperature going to just basically take a um, you know handful of scallops and get them breaded up. This is Atkinson seafood breader. Just gonna roll them around, get them nice and coated. I've already salt and peppered them. I don't really do a lot of seasoning. I don't like a lot of seasoning, especially on my scallops. So we're about 300 degrees. Just try and ease them in, try to keep it from splashing. Just nice and easy. And, uh, we're off and running. All right, we've been cooking for a couple minutes. They're browning up really nice and pretty. Get them a little bit crispier than that. They'll start floating good. And you'll, you'll know, you know, kind of that they're they're done, or at least close to being done. Now, I like a big scoop like this. It makes frying really easy because you can just pick everything up. But frying small pieces like this is a pretty easy thing to do. All right. If you notice the bubbling has died down, that means we've cooked the majority of the water out of them. I'm just kind of raise them up. You can see they're pretty and brown. I'm going to shake them, get as much oil off as I can, and then I'm going to come over. Whoa! -oh. Come over. We're going to get them drained and be ready to go. Okay, all the scallops are cooked. So we got a nice platter, fried scallops, beautiful, delicious. We've got our cheese grits to go along with them. And we actually baked the french fries to be on the healthier side of things. So these are French bakes instead of french fries. So, bon appetit. Let's eat. All right, everybody, that's a wrap for this edition of Baron's Life. We have gone to see The Meg. Go check it out. Interesting movie. Um, had a nice day scalloping, had to dodge a thunderstorm or two, but overall it was a nice day. Um, and then obviously enjoyed those scallops for dinner. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you get a chance, take your kids out, uh, you know, go scalloping, let them see the water. There's nothing to be afraid of. Get in and just enjoy it. Um, if you go to St. Joe Bay, just a few things, you know, make sure that you watch out. It is very shallow. There's a slight possibility that I found a sandbar, but everybody was fine. So, um, anyway, thanks a lot. Like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.